Arthur and Sam by Roger Watson Arthur and Sam they were brothers who lived all their lives very near in a place called Osley Woodus near Osley in Derbyshire. Of vices they hadn't got many, they said smoking and drinking's for fools. But they clubbed together each week without fail and had ten bob on thang football pools. Now folk used to say it was ten bob down drain. But the better things they could have done and they'd never see out of their money again. Then one week they up the main one. There were nine draws on the coupon that week and Arthur and Sam had got eight. A man from the paper came to ask how they felt and both of them said bloody great. Next Wednesday a man came round with the cheque. It was fifty odd thousand they drew and Sam went straight out and bought a new suit of clothes and Arthur said I want to. So they decked themselves out like a couple of toffs with silk vests and long woolly vests and then they sat down by the side of the fire to figure out what they would do with the rest. Now they'd always wanted to travel and as lads their heads had been full of far away places with strange sounding names like Scunthorpe and Barnsley and all. They did both decided to go around the world but trouble was where to go first. Arthur said Calcutta. Sam said Matlock Bath. So they tossed up and Matlock Bath lost. Next day they went out and bought two new coats in case it should come on to rain. And they went to the bus stop at the end of the street and they got on the first and as came. Two to Calcutta. How much will that be, said Sam as Conductor drew near. But Conductor looked at them and then scratched his head and said, No lad, we didn't get there. I could take thee to Ossley. All right, said, said Sam, we must go there and then try again. So they got off at Ossley and waited at stop. And they got on the first and as came. Two to Calcutta, have you changed for a pound? said Sam as Conductor drew near. He pulled a big, uh, he pulled a big uh, timetable out of his bag and said, Neela, we didn't get there. I can take thee to Derby and then catch a coach. All right, said, said Sam. Arthur said, same. So they got off at bus station where coaches come from and they got on the first and as came. To to Calcutta. Ah, when do you get there? said Sam as Conductor drew near but Conductor looked to them and then shook his head and said, Nay lad, we didn't go there. So they travelled through England and France and through Spain and folk always told them the same. They travelled on trains and on boats and on planes and they always got first and just came. They heard lots of language they couldn't make out. But message came through loud and clear it was Parlez vous Francis and Spice and Sea Dutch and they lad we don't get there. But they stuck to their guns and they never gave up. Till one day in some foreign place they saw Calcutta on front of the bus. As plain as the nose on your face. So they got to Calcutta and had a look round. Went into a cafe for some snack. <laughs> they no fish and chips and they no homemade baked pies just curries and all that sort of stuff said Sam I feel like a nice piece of tripe and Arthur said he felt the same 
he, he, he crossed the road to catch the bus home and they got on the first thing as came. They got on that bus and they sat the sun down. Folk around them were all black as night and conductor were too about oh when he smiled his teeth showed up pearly and white. To to Osley said Sir Arthur and Sam and conductor replied pretty prompt with a smile and a nod of his head he said Is Osley or Osley wouldst thou once? <laughs>